di Jakarta Post, Jakarta Soul be fruit free in 2018, Sign Minister Public Works and Public Housing Minister Basuki Hadi Mojono has said that Jakarta will be fruit free by 2018, particularly if fruit mitigation project along the Chiliwung River finish on schedule. The project includes the construction of the Chiliwung Tunnel connecting West Flood Canal BKD and S Flood Canal BKT that will speed water flowing from the Chiliwung River as well as the expansion of the capacity of the Chiliwung Rivers, the longest river in the capital, on the process of the Chiliwung River normalization and the construction of the Chiliwung Tunnel are finished. Finish the, the flood will be said, said Basuki. According to Basuki, the flood mitigation projects being implemented along the Chiliwung River and Chiliwung Tunnel could reduce the volume of flow around Kampung Pulo to 470 cubic meters from 500. 70 cubic meters per second during peak rainy season. He stated that with a flow volume of 470, the river would not overflow. The capacity of the floodgates will be 504 cubic meters per second. So with 470 cubic meters per second, water flow will be smooth, he added. Basuki said that the Chiliwung flood mitigation project that started in 2030 as expected to be complicated, completed within two years. Critical information and better understanding about the new strain of coronavirus disease COVID-19 is popular during the curse evolving outbreak. Training can help limit the spread of misinformation and rumor among the public, as well as support the medical professional who manage pain and the phone line. The Global WHO Health Emergence Program has been inf investing in learning and training about uh, to strengthen preparedness and real-time emergency response to the international outbreak, and has recently launched several informative training models about COVID-19 on this platform in both English and Bahasa Indonesia. The course Infection Prevention and Control IPC for Novel Coronavirus COVID-19 is a three-part series providing preparedness information on how health facilities can respond to a case of COVID-19 including the correct IPC measure to ensure. There is no further virus transmission to healthcare workers, others, patients, and visitors in the facility. The modules consist of a mixture of videos and downloadable presentations. A second training titled Health and Safety Briefing for Respiratory Diseases E-Protect provides a, gen a general introduction to acute respiratory infection and basic hygiene measures to protect against infection. The Open WHO platform was established three years ago to support emergency health scenarios where WHO needs to reach millions of people across the globe with real-time access accessible learning materials.